Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. With everything that's going on in the world, I do want to do just something a little bit lighthearted. If you do want to hear my thoughts about what's going on in the world, I do have a main channel and I did post a video on my thoughts on the current events. I will link the video down below. My main channel is always linked down below in case you guys want to see me over there where I talk about literally everything else other than makeup on that channel. So today's video is just going to be a super lighthearted hearted favorites video and these are like makeup favorites that I have been loving wearing religiously like non-stop every time I do my makeup first let's talk about my favorite makeup brushes I literally never have like makeup brush favorites to share with y'all but these two brushes has been the goats for me I've been using them non-stop loving them so much the first one is the Sephora why did I say it like that the first one is the Sephora pro small blush definition brush it looks like this okay it's very tall and then the bristles are very kind of short and domed i use this brush for everything mainly right now i've been using it to apply my cream bronzer i just love the space that this gives me it, it doesn't take up too much space it kind of puts it right in the area that i need it and i love the way this blends this out sephora brushes are a little bit pricey but i definitely think that they are worth it with this brush in particular i do find that it sheds quite a bit like when I'm applying stuff to my face but I don't really mind it because the quality of the brush is really great and then the next brush I've been loving is more cheaper but still quality is amazing this is the elf airbrush blender brush it looks like this so it has kind of like a dome to it so one side is more straight and then kind of goes out and flared I don't know but I love this brush for foundation or any base product because it is so packed you could just kind of tap it and blend it in and it just gives you a nice seamless flawless looking base with this brush i really love it this brush is like it's no more than ten dollars really great brush elf is also another company who does very amazing brushes way more affordable than the sephora ones next this glossier future do oil serum hybrid okay let's get into some things with this this stuff is the goat i was a little bit apprehensive to try this i don't know why because it is amazing it works really great i use this after i do my primer and it just gives my skin a nice dewy look it really looks so fresh and so natural but still so emollient under whatever base product i put on i cannot live without this it looks so pretty especially in the sun i would recommend it so much this is like one of my favorite things i've ever bought from glossier can't live without it at all definitely get your hands on it try it out you won't regret it this should be no surprise because literally i use this in probably every video where i do my makeup i've talked about this so much but i had to mention it because i wear it non-stop and this is the flesh beauty promise highlighter i picked this up from ulta but i do think ulta is phasing flesh beauty out i don't think they'll be selling them anymore or they're revamping them i don't know everything was on sale from flesh at ulta i don't know it was really weird i don't know I don't know don't quote me this is how this highlighter looks it's like a very pretty pinky champagne-ish goldish color and it's very pretty um the formula of this is very satin very skin like it is very um like you have to build this up quite a bit but i love that because highlighter i'm just so not into like the super blinding highlighter look anymore i really love it to look like natural i really love it to look great when the sun hits it in person and this is just one of those highlighters that just look great with any makeup look the formula is so blendable so smooth it's not glittery it isn't patchy this is like the only highlighter that i use i'm actually not wearing any highlighter today but when i do it's this I've had this since ooh, I've had this for so long but I just kind of rediscovered it recently because I have been gone quite a bit I've not been home for like the almost the like like the last month I've been away from home and obviously when you're away from home you have to pack makeup products and I put this in my bag and I was just like why don't I use this this is the Fenty Beauty um, Invisi Matte blotting powder it looks like this this came out in 
like the first release when Fenty Beauty first ever came out and not a lot of people talked about this product of course everyone was so excited about like the foundation and the highlighters but not everybody talked about this but this is like a hidden gem of the Fenty brand in my opinion it looks like this mine's is a little beat up but it looks like this is just a white translucent powder it comes with a little puff like this mine's is so dirty don't judge me it kind of mats your face a little bit but it isn't a matte where it is super like matte it just takes the oil off your face it doesn't add any coverage it doesn't take anything away it literally just makes you look not oily i'm actually gonna put it in this spot here because it's a little bit shiny do you see like it just automatically unoils you like i love this this is great if you're someone you work on set you're a working makeup artist you work with different lightings and you know it gets oily and hot you need this this is so amazing i recommend this to all of my oily girls is my glossier cloud paint seamless cheek color this is a cream slash liquid blush i actually have this blush on today i love this blush okay coverage i love how it wears I, it's just bomb a little bit of this goes a super long way you definitely don't want to apply too much because it can look crazy on your face so just put a little bit on your hand I like to tap it on with my fingers then go in and blend it out with a stippling brush and it just looks so good after that so this glossier cloud paint has been my baby and yeah this is in the shade dawn by the way I don't know if I mentioned it it's in the shade dawn as you can see orange has just been my color I have been wearing this lipstick out it is by dose of colors this was the Desi and Katie um lipstick that they created this one is in the shade more creamer please I don't think that they sell this anymore which is a bummer i definitely need to find a dupe for this it just looks like this is a very light peachy nude a little bit on like the orange side it's just so pretty i've been wearing this out with a brown lip liner and lip gloss on top of this it's just so pretty on my skin tone just so 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 pretty the formula is great it's like matte but not matte it's more like a comfortable satin finish this lipstick like they did this from the formula to the packaging um, to the color everything about this I love so I've been loving that lipstick so much I have been trying to use it a little bit more sparingly because I don't want to run out of it because I don't think that they sell it anymore but speaking of lipstick the next lipstick I've been loving I actually have on today it is the L'Oreal Paris Color Reshine stick in the shade glossy fine I'm going to talk about this very briefly because I just talked about it I think in my last video but it's just such a pretty color it's like a nudie pink color it's very glossy very emollient it's just a nice put on and go lipstick that you don't really have to worry about too much i mean it's nothing else to say about it but it's bomb definitely try it out they do do a lot of colors in it as well if that's something you want to give a shot and next we have the tower 28 cream bronzer this is the bronze what this is the bronzino no, Bronzino Cream Bronzers by Tower 28. And this is in the shade Best Coast. They have two shades of the bronzers. This one is the more reddish undertone one. I literally use this nonstop. Um, since I've gotten this, I have not used any other bronzer product except for this very emollient but looks so pretty on the skin your skin looks very sun-kissed very glowy very natural like out of all of these products this is a product that I use every single time I do makeup regardless of what I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look a full glam look this gonna be on my face this is really amazing formula is great so I love this has been a favorite for sure and this is the Neutrogena radiant cream concealer I also mentioned this in my last video so I'm not going to talk about it too much but this is in the shade um golden medium deep one this is just a really good concealer very creamy very natural blendable just looks amazing on the skin so if you have not tried this concealer and you're looking for something new to try definitely recommend this one it's really great okay try it out Stellar Lash Mascara by BH Cosmetics also talked about this in my last video so I'm not going to get into too much depth but a very great mascara I'm wearing it today it's all that I wear I find that it makes my lashes voluminous as well as adding length um, it makes them super black as well. It's just a very pretty mascara. Also, the packaging on this is super dope, super pretty. I think BH Cosmetics does so many great products for a low price. And this is definitely one of their stellar products. Get it? Next, I have my Flesh Beauty um, Flesh Pot Eye and Cheek Gloss. I talk about this so much, but it's because I use it so much. I'm wearing this today on the cheeks. I don't know if you could tell. 
Hopefully you can. It looks amazing, number one. Okay, it is so pretty. I love using this. I mostly wear it as a face gloss more so than an eye gloss, but I have used it as an eye gloss and I love it as well. But as a face gloss, it just adds some extra um, attitude, pizzazz, razzle dazzle to, to my face. I can't do my makeup without this. I love it. It's so amazing. And then lastly, the product that I'm wearing on my eyes today been loving this is the makeup geek little four quad eyeshadow thing these are actually the first makeup geek shadows i've ever tried i actually picked this up from target if you don't know makeup geek is so did target and the shades of this are uh peach smoothie this one is called flamethrower chickadee and brick house um these are all shades that i've heard about so much through the years from watching like people talk about makeup geek so i'm very excited to have these i have it on my eyes today i love it like i think that these shadows look amazing they they blend it out amazing they're super pigmented like what this shadow right here chickadee this is about to be my jam like what this is about to be my jam i love that it's super small and compact you could take it on the go that's it those are all of my favorite makeup products that i currently have been loving i would recommend all of these products i literally use either every single time i do makeup or so much that obviously i'm recommending i would never recommend anything that i don't use so thank you guys so much for watching this favorites video let me know what you guys want to see here on my makeup channel sometimes i'm always sometimes i'm always Sometimes I'm lost for video ideas for my makeup channel. So let me know what you guys want to see. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.